Is this the future of gaming? Or this? Or neither? Of all the new exciting technological advances in the last few years that have attempted to establish a foothold in the world of video games, virtual reality has surely had the most success. Sorry, motion control. Well, bam There it is. But what about augmented reality? Enter Microsoft with HoloLens. The computer tech giant made arguably its most exciting reveal since the first Xbox recently by unveiling this little device. Now while this holographic computer, as the company are calling it, is a standalone device not targeted at any one application, this clip of 3D Minecraft suddenly appearing in a living room certainly got a lot of people excited and talking about gaming applications of HoloLens. GameSpot's sister site CNET.com even argued that gaming is the number one most exciting potential use of this technology. So, how does HoloLens work? What kind of new gaming experiences could it offer? And how does it compare to the gaming promise of its cousin, virtual reality? Facebook's Oculus Rift, Sony's Project Morpheus, and all other VR tech have one main goal, to create the feeling of presence. This is the sensation of actually being in a place which feels real. In other words, filling the wearer's brain into believing, as much as possible, that they are really in the place that they see. Augmented reality devices, on the other hand, like HoloLens, are all about adding things on top of existing reality, allowing the user to manipulate digital holographic objects in a real physical space. The promo movie for HoloLens gave a glimpse of the kind of uses Microsoft has in mind. From constructing an object to be later 3D printed, modding a motorcycle design prototype in real-time 3D, to walking on the Martian surface. All pretty cool. But how does this thing actually work? Well, it's got transparent lenses so you can see the world around you as well as the holographic images. The goggles will track your movements, watch your gaze and transform what you see by blasting light in your eyes. Don't worry, it doesn't actually hurt. Also, because the device tracks where you are, you can use hand gestures like the mid-air click we see in the demo here to manipulate the holographic objects. Also, thanks to sensors in the unit, it can spatially map your environment, allowing holograms to be placed on actual surfaces in the real world. Plus, your voice can be used to issue commands as well. So, how does this AR device compare with its VR cousins? Well, first of all, it's untethered. It doesn't need to be attached to a separate computer because it contains its own CPU, GPU and HPU, or holographic processing unit. Unlike Oculus and Morpheus, this gives the user complete freedom of movement around the environment. So, when it comes down to their respective gaming applications, I think it's really all about the type of experience you're after. While VR is really what you will need if you want to be fully immersed in a fantasy world, AR also throws up some really cool possibilities of its own. Imagine, if you can, building whole worlds out of blocks right there in your living room. All right, fine, but this would have unlimited PCs. Plus, you'd never have to fear the consequences of stepping on stray blocks. You could also play Hearthstone on your kitchen table, which would be sweet. In fact, once resolution is good enough, any surface in your whole house could be transformed into a gaming display. Now, that would be a game changer. While Microsoft aren't talking specifics at this point, head of Xbox Phil Spencer did comment that they're thinking hard about specific scenarios with the Xbox, with things like content streaming, and using it as a display for Xbox. Ultimately though, I think with VR and AR, we're looking at two sides of a rapidly converging pie. Is, is that a saying? It is now. My point is though, that in a few years time, we're only gonna wanna wear one pair of silly glasses. And there's no reason why both VR and AR can't perform the job of the other. HoloLens is already creating pixels in your vision, it just needs to create a graphic that completely covers your field of view, and there we have an immersive reality. And as for VR, stick a couple of cameras on your headset, and you're ready for a basic AR experience. So, what do you make of VR and AR? Can you think of any cool ideas for how HoloLens could improve gaming? Or do you think some other piece of technology will have a much bigger impact on the future of video games? Let me know in the comments down below, or of course you can send me a tweet to at CamFrazRob. See you soon.